If your PBX supports client codes, they will be output into Tiger Prism. To configure the client codes, go to the telephony tile and go to the client codes section and search. In this section, any client codes that have been used will get auto learned into the Tiger software. In here, you'll see the client code and the default description, which will be the client code. To configure these, simply click on the three lines on the left-hand side, then click on the edit button. You are then able to change the description. Once you've done that, you can simply click save. Now, what you will also need to do is assign an assignment to this client code. So to do this, you click the edit button again and click on the plus button. What you'll now need to do is assign this to a specific client. To do this, click on the three lines here on the client box. Then select a client from the menu here or click add new client. In here, you will then need to give your client a name. Then simply click OK. You will then need to specify the date that client code started from for that particular client by clicking in the calendar and selecting the start date. If there is an end date, you can specify this in the end calendar. If not, leaving it blank will leave it indefinitely. If this client code then gets moved on to a new client, if you click the plus button at the top here, it will then create a new section. In here, what you'll then need to do is set the end date for the old client, then set a new start date for the new client, and then choose the new client which will be taking over the code. Once you've made these changes, simply then click save. Once you've created all these client codes, the client codes then become available in the client code summary report, or they become available in analytics under the client, client code, and client code description fields. In here, you will be able to see that information against those client codes. Also, under the client code reports will be any unassigned client codes. So these will be client codes that you have not gone in and set an assignment for. So here, we'll give you the client code and the description, but you have not gone into the client code and set an assignment. So in this example here, you will need to go and select 100. And then you will need to click edit and set the assignment. Again, by selecting the client and selecting a from date. Thank you for watching. We hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. And if there is anything else you would like to learn about Tiger Prism and its other modules, please visit www.tigercoms.com for more tutorials and information.